Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how we can use fractional distillation to separate crude oil. Let's get started then. So by now you should remember that crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons and the definition of a hydrocarbon is a compound made up of hydrogen and carbon only. However, if we were to take just our crude oil and put it into a car, it wouldn't work. That's because that our crude oil has lots and lots of different fuels in there. So what we must do is separate it out. And we do that through a process called fractional distillation. Fractional means separate parts and distillation means using boiling points, separated using boiling points. So how does fractional distillation work? Well on the left here I have a fractionating column and what we do is we take our crude oil and we vaporize it, so turn it all into a gas. We then put it into our fractionating column which is hot at the bottom and cooler at the top. Now this is where the property of boiling points come in. So what will happen is we've got our vaporized crude oil which is going to go into our fractionating column and it's going to start to rise up the column. When the first lot of hydrocarbons get to the point where they are below their boiling point they will start to condense. So the first fraction will turn into a liquid really quickly and be piped off at the bottom. Once the first fraction has been piped off, the rest of the vapour is going to continue to rise. When it rises up, the next lot of chemicals will get to the point where they go below their boiling point, they will condense and they can be piped off. And this process will continue, so the next fraction will continue to rise until it gets below its boiling point, it will condense, be piped off and so on and so on until you're left with just the gases coming out from the top. So in summary, your crude oil is vaporised, the fractionating column is hotter at the bottom, the vapour rises until it cools to below its boiling point, it will condense, turn back into a liquid, fall into the tray and is collected. The process will then continue until all the gases are collected at the top. Right, let's see what the examiner can ask you on this then. So I've got three questions, all to do with the diagram on the right. First one, what is the physical property used to separate the fractions in crude oil? So physical property, that could be melting point, conducting electricity, something like that. One mark, one property. Question two, why is bitumen piped off at the bottom of the column? Now, even if you haven't got to the point where you know what the different fractions are, why, in terms of that property you've answered in question one, is one of them at the bottom? And then question three, how are the fractions of crude oil separated using the physical property outlined in question one? So it's worth four marks. You need to explain to me what happens from your crude oil being vaporized to the gases being collected at the top. So think back to the video, pause it now, and we'll see how you've done shortly. Okay, let's see how you've done. So we we'll start off with the first question, what is the physical property used to separate the fractions in crude oil? That distillation, if you remember the definition, it was based on their boiling point. So you get one mark for saying the boiling point. Why is bitumen piped off at the bottom of the column? Again, it's only worth one mark, so what you need to do is just say, as it is, it's going to have the highest boiling point. I will have also accepted it remains as a liquid. Question three, how are the fractions of crude oil separated using the physical property outlined in question one? So in terms of boiling points. So the first thing is the column is hotter at the bottom. Really important to remember that. The vapor is going to rise until it cools or goes below its boiling point. That's going to be your second mark. It will condense. Really important to get that word condense in there. So it condenses into the tray, gets piped off. You probably would get the mark here for just saying it will condense and then the rest of the gases continue to rise and the process continues. So any four of those five points there would have got you your four marks. And that really is all there is to it. I've got a review question for you. It says, look at the explanation of how fractional distillation of crude oil works. This question says, explain how this could be adapted to separate nitrogen and oxygen from the air. So nitrogen has a boiling point of minus 196 degrees C and oxygen has a boiling point of minus 183 degrees C. So they're gases at the moment, so that's going to be very difficult to separate them. What could you do to those gases so you can do the same thing as we've done in fractional distillation? That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.